All right, in this video you will learn how to create an APA style header as well as a title page using Microsoft Word 2007. So uh, the objectives for this video, by the end of the video you will be able to um, create a header on the first or title page, uh, create a title page, uh, as well as headers on all the pages that follow the, the first or title page. Uh, it's a different format. Um, sometimes this can be confusing for some students, but I'm going to show you um, all the, the tools and tricks you need to accomplish this. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you have a Word document open, like this. And to activate the header, you're just going to double click at the very top of the page, right up here. Uh, this opens the header and it activates the design ribbon. That's this ribbon, this bar right up here. So after you've done that, the, the first thing you want to do, and this is a very important step, and that is to click this box right here, and it says different first page. Now what this is going to do is allow you to create a header on the title page that's going to be different from the pages that follow, um, because you're going to need to Im include some information on the title page that's, that's not going to be there on the, the subsequent pages. So after we've done that, what you're going to do is click on the page number here, and where it says top of page, click plane number three. So after you've done that, the page number should appear right there um, in, the, in the top top corner of the page. And what you can do next, or what you should do next, is write the words running head. All right. Now what running head will, will do, or what it means, is this is the running header that you're going to use from here on out. It's signifying to the reader um, what your title is and, and what the header is going to be. So just put a colon, and then you're going to abbreviate your title. So for our um, sample page, you're going to put sample title page. So make sure that you press all caps here. The header should be in all caps. So sample title page. All right. And then to get the, the sample title page, the running header, over to the left hand side of the page, all you need to do is hit tab twice. One, two. So hit tab twice to get that running header to the left corner of the page. All right. So now you have your, your header. All right. This is the header for the title page. And again, the one thing that it does have that's different from the other pages is this running head on it. Again, that's just signifying that this is the running header. This is the header that will follow. So once you're done with that, you want to double click out of the header. Now, first thing you want to do is center text. You can find your center text right up here at the ribbon at the top. Click center text and then double space. Go up to the spacing hit the double space and then you're going to press enter four times one two three four all right and after you've done that um, we're going to actually create then the sample uh, title page and so for here you're going to put your um, your the title for whatever it is that you're um, writing so for us it's going to be sample title page Again, it's a pretty generic title, but if you're writing a, an essay on uh, Ernest Hemingway's Hills Like White Elephants and, and symbolism in it, you might say symbolism in Hills Like White Elephants or, or something of that nature. But for us, we're just going to do a sample title page. And it's not in all caps anymore, so you want to make sure the all caps button is off, but you can capitalize um, the first words of the title, of each, or in, in, in the title, the first letter, sorry, as well as any proper nouns. So after you've done that, you're going to press uh, enter, and then you're going to write your name. So we're just going to come up with a generic name, Joe Smith. Um, after the, the name, you press enter again, and you're going to write the institution or, or wherever you're affiliated with. And so for us, we'll put Rasmus in college. Um, that is where I am affiliated with, and um, that's where I teach. So uh, after you're done with that, you're going to press enter again, and you're going to do it four times. So that's one, two, three, four. And then, um, and this is an optional um, optional rule. I do ask this of um, my students, and we ask it of all students at Rasmussen College, and that is to include an author note. So an author note is basically a little uh, sentence or paragraph that provides information um, about the, the course that uh, you're in, um, as well as the date uh, and when it's being submitted and the type of assignment. So to, to create an author note, you write the words 
author note, and then you press enter. And let's scroll down here. And after you press enter, you want to now align left, because this is basically the equivalent of a paragraph. And similar to a paragraph, you want to make sure that you indent every paragraph. And so you have a line left, and you tab over once to indent. And then you're going to write, um, again, this will depend on what the instructors um, want you to write. But um, here at Rasmussen College, we ask our students to uh, write something close to the following. So this essay research um, assignment, um, so I'm going to choose assignment. So this assignment is being submitted on, and then you include the date, um, or su submitted on, um, we'll just choose today's date of December 8th, 2011. Oops, let's do 2011. Um, for Matt Otremba's G124 English composition course. There you go. And now you have your author note. Again, you want to include the type of assignment that it is. And I'm just using generic assignment. So you could put essay there, or you could put research uh, paper. Um, and then the date, the instructor's name, the course information. So this is the course title for the, the course, and then just put course there. After you've done with that, what you want to do then is insert a page break. And if you do this, then it means that there will be no other um, text. You don't have to wor worry about alignment issues. You just go down to the next page. And here is where we have to insert now a new header. Because um, on the remember, we put different uh, first page, uh, different header for the first page up above. And now you need to re-enter the, the header. Um, and we can go to page numbers, top of the page. All right, and now it's on number two because we had one up here, but two, and we had a different first page. And now we're going to have to re enter the header. So make sure your cap locks are back on. Sample title page, okay, and then just hit tab twice. Again, tab twice. One, two. After you're done with that, you have your header now. You have the page number, and you have the header. And notice, again, it's different from the first page. That first page has running head, uh, excuse me, running head right there. And that's telling us what's going to follow. And all the pages that follow don't need that anymore. OK, one more little tip here. Um, let's get back down. So you click, double clicked out of the, the header. And if you were going to write your, your essay now, and this is, uh, some people forget this and don't realize this, but you actually have to put your title again at the top of the page. And to do that, you will uh, center it, make sure cap locks are off, and put sample title page. All right. After you've done with that, you're going to make sure it's a line left. And now you can go ahead and write your essay. So I hope this helps and it gives you the, the tools and resources you need to create uh, clear and effective headers and title pages in APA format using Microsoft Word 2007.